Um, so we were talking, yeah, that we're going to try. By the way, last time we were in the studio, I was getting ready to interview RFK over there, and <laughs> everyone was smoking weed. And then at one point, it dawned on me, I was like, man, I hope that doesn't turn him off, that like it's going to stink like weed when he comes in. And then I figured out that was the least of my problems. That was the least of your worries. Turns out sure. I, we had a fucking uh, employee here grilling his team. Was she hired simply for being hot and Asian? Um, maybe. Yeah. That, was, that was a Ralph thing. That was a Ralph uh, hire? Ralph yeah. shouldn't be allowed to uh, hire anymore. I hired my sister, who's not hot and Asian. She is so not Asian or hot. Yeah. I love your sister she for did, those she reasons. My great sister job. was great for the job, yeah. And then, uh, then she showed up one day, and Lillian was here, and my sister was like, I guess you guys are just going with a hot Asian. <laughs> and you said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it, uh, kiddo. See, it's Christmas. <clears throat> and then that lady apparently is a lunatic. No, stop it. She's great. She's great, but she's fired, she's right? Fired. Yeah, but she's a huge fan of the show and all the things we do, so, um, hey. Oh, thanks for fucking up my interview with RFK. <laughs> oh, are you listening you right psychopath? now? psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> what she did you do? She didn't fuck up your interview. No, no, but from what I found out today... <laughs> She was grilling the, uh, his staff about the the like. She was grilling dolphin meat for them. <laughs> oh, you see where I come from? It's very good. You eat a live octopus. Uh, strong a sense of a protein. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I heard that she uh, asked RFK's security what their thoughts were on Jeff Aquitic. <laughs> that's really that's I, the one that stood up to me the most. I think there was a she, bunch of things. She asked J RFK which. They thought about the Jabberwockies. Yeah. yeah, and they—they're not in any position to answer that yeah. question. They wear masks, so they don't have to talk. <laughs> they're a pretty good dance team. <laughs> <laughs> they're really good at dance. <laughs> I like yeah. their moves. I thought they should have won second. Dude, I hope he becomes the president. Way. That'd be the best, dude. People of America. <laughs> he sounds like fucking Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> he Hello, <knows> he. <laughs> man. You think you're going to stop me? <laughs> you crazy Doing... schmuke. <laughs> Doing this impression would have been more appropriate than what she was asking you're her not staff. not wrong. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you just, kneel, before, like... <laughs> kneel just... before RFK, <laughs> Iowa. I, the leader of the free world, RFK has arrived. <laughs> Yo. Your emperor is now here. It would have been better Dave, if she was like, Dave, turn Republican and your journey to the dark side will be complete. <laughs> then die. This would have been better if she had hey, just been like, hey, what's it like driving around this guy all day? Is he like, <laughs> we need to make another stop. <laughs> uh, yeah. I need, I request a cheeseburger. Hey, Dave, are you interviewing Zool? <laughs> <laughs> Choose your destroyer. <laughs> Are you a god? <laughs> he has the voice uh, of a moral villain. <laughs> no. Then die. <laughs> he sounds like he's hiding infinity stones. I can't wait. <laughs> Kneel before me and get your health care. <laughs> <laughs> the blacks will be sectioned off in the southwest of this country. I like him. I heard something today. Dave, you posted something. Uh, and uh, I was like, this guy sounds good, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Lewis is on board. Yeah, dude. He posted I heard he some prefers video. loafers over tie up shoes. And I like that. I'm there gonna you, vote for him. There you go. He said something. It sounded pretty good. He was like, We need to not we need to not be so extreme, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be a little bit more in the middle. <laughs> and I was like, all right, dude, I get this guy. <laughs> Can we all just be cool about things? <laughs> he's, yes. he's like a hippie, but he's got that voice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this might be the weed talking. But <laughs> the gays. I'll give you a pass. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, can't shit. have babies, but you can get married. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you own the property. <laughs> oh, we're, Lord. We're going to give you a section of Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Put the ring into <laughs> the volcano and see what happens. <laughs> What is your destiny? He's going to say a lot of words like destiny. <laughs> this country's destiny is bound by fate. Open the puzzle box and make the gate to hell. 
He talks like Pinhead. He does. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he goes, me and my cabinet, the Xenobites. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> fuck. I like RFK being an evil god. <laughs> I hope he wears black gowns on this. Your dark emperor is before you. Now, everybody, cut yourselves. Bleed for me. <laughs> <laughs> Show your true allegiance. <laughs> Spill the blood of your firstborn child for <laughs> RFK. <laughs> Feed me your babies. <laughs> I will tear them limb from limb while you watch. <laughs> and your love for me will keep you okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need your baby when you have RFK Jr. <laughs> oh, great fuck. guy. Yeah, he is a great guy. He said something, and the, the guy. thing that you you posted, it was like, uh, I guess his, his son went to fight for the Ukraine. Like he actually went over there, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was like, damn, dude, you're Kennedy. You didn't have to do that, dude. He did not. Have to yeah, do it's that. insane. That's a real ass dude right there. Yeah, but also part of me when he said that was I was like. Was he really like on the front lines, or was no. it like he was staying at like a five star yes. resort with a machine gun next Probably. to a fucking like hot tub? Oh no, yeah, for like, sure. Like, All right. But he hears Bing Bong, and he grabs a gun. He goes, "Hello, <laughs> room service." He goes, "Okay, <laughs> <laughs> let me put my robe on. I'll be right there." John, I sent you room service. <laughs> Stay inside. <laughs> Stay inside. Don't go out. I sent you the duck lounge. <laughs> It's to die. <laughs> <laughs> the meat melts in your mouth. Enjoy. I'm sorry you have to spend your birthday in Fallujah. <laughs> Not even close to the right country, but uh, that impression's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I like the term Fallujah. I like saying Fallujah. It's, Fallujah is a great war you know, like yeah, place, but it's place, Iran. Yeah. Or it's uh, Iraq. Iraq yeah. you do, it's all good. It doesn't matter. It could be Iran. Who cares? Pardon me. It could be Iran. <laughs> do you have any gray poop pot? <laughs> Are those bugle boy jeans you're wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a number two supersize with a Diet Coke. For the lowest insurance <laughs> rates online, go to the general and save some dime. <laughs> Just, Excuse me, I ordered a number two, and this is a quarter pounder. We all know that's the number three. <laughs> This should be two cheeseburgers <laughs> and a medium French fries. I hate to be that guy. <laughs> There's a fly in my <laughs> soup. I know it sounds like a punchline, but there's actually a fly in my soup. <laughs> Kneel before Zod. <laughs> <laughs> you have made your choice of your emperor. <laughs> That's right. Build your shrines. The streets will run red with the blood of my enemies. Bring me your manager. Also, abortions are back. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Guys, we're going to be fine on our own. Seriously, I think that guy's great. Check out the interview. <coughs> great interview. I thought it was great. Why do you like him as president? Honestly, I don't want to get all political, but what? It, give me get, elevator pitch. Legion of Skanks. Why should Big J and, and Lewis, whatever his name is. Well, with this impression, I'm going to get on SNL. I already know <laughs> the reason for dude. me. I don't know. <laughs> you, guys are dude, fucking, <laughs> you guys are fucking retarded. Just listen to me and trust me on whatever I say on this, all right? Yeah, I just do. He's I just cool. blindly. Sure, he's yeah, the guy. he's cool. All right. So that's it. That's my elevator pitch. We were going one floor in that elevator. That was it. That was Guys, it. I say he's good. Sure. You got it. <laughs> going up. 
<laughs> Here's the elevator pitch. RFK he goes, hello. Welcome to the elevator. You rang. <laughs> Would you like to get out of this elevator alive? <laughs> Third floor. That's the pool and gym. <laughs> just, you look like a gym. Good guy. hotel information. <laughs> yes. Third floor is the gym, but if you want the sauna, it's floor six. I know it's tough, but wake up early and get the Continental. It's the motherfucker. <laughs> Sometimes I get off the elevator and I press every button. <laughs> ha ha. ha, I, ha. I, uh, <laughs> elevator pranks. And then a <laughs> dumbass walks in. That shithead's gonna be in that elevator all day long. <laughs>